Kate Middleton became Duchess of Cambridge and future Queen of England when she married Prince William in 2011. Since a welcome into the royal family fold, protocol has imposed a dress code upon Kate, complete with hats and hairdos approved by Queen Elizabeth. Not fond of hair that's too long, a majesty would suggest cutting it or pulling it back. Kate's dresses must always look healthy and well-groomed, in keeping with the image of the British monarchy, young and dynamic, she embodies. Her hairdresser, Amanda Cook Tucker, has also been cutting William and Harry's locks since the princes were boys. All eyes were glued to her for the royal births of George and Charlotte. Both times, Cook Tucker's arrival at the hospital heralded each baby's imminent appearance. Thanks to her, the Duchess looked impeccable as she presented a baby to the crowd waiting outside. Amanda Cook Tucker had the honor of being the first person to meet the new heir, even before the Queen herself. Yet, Kate can be accused of being superficial. In 2013, she attended the Remembrance Sunday ceremony, honoring soldiers following in war. She sparked a wave of indignation by twirling her hair, behavior judged inappropriate on such a solemn occasion. But her simplicity has also won the hearts of the people. Last February, she was spotted in public with grey roots. Though the tabloids had a field day, fashion magazines and the social network leapt to the Duchess' defense, interpreting the silver as a sign that Kate, like Lady Di before her, is a people's princess, battling grey hair just like other women her age.